Hello everyone and welcome back to Learning with Jelly. So today we are on part three of our Proc SQL Crash Course, allowing us to work with databases. So what is the challenge for today? So let me reorient you to what the first two parts were. So, so far we have created a bookstore database with three tables. And if you don't have access to that database, please look at part one. The code is in the description below, so you can copy and paste that code so you have it for part two and three. And so far, we have been answering in questions that the bookstore owner has, such as how many book sales have they have, how many unique authors are at their store, information about genres of books, things of that nature. So now we're going to look at what happens when the information that we need is across more than one table. So two tables, for instance. And in order to do that, we are going to have to join some information together. So the challenge today is to join multiple tables together to answer more complex questions that the bookstore may have. Because keep in mind, we do analytics to provide insights, to provide recommendations, to provide business value. Okay, so before we start joining the tables, let's recap some types of SQL joins. So there are four main types of SQL joins. There are more than what's listed here. And this resource is from LearnSQL.com. But the most common join that people tend to know is this inner join, where you return matching records. So basically, find the ID in one table and match it to an ID column in the second table. And you're only going to return matches. Left join, you're going to return everything from the left table, regardless if it has a match or not. So if your left table is authors and you're joining it with books, regardless if those authors have books attached to them, it will return all of the authors. So it will return everything from the left table. Right joins is going to return everything from the right table, regardless if it has a match or not. So for instance, if the left table is authors, the right table is books, it is going to return all the books regardless if it has an author attached to it or not. In a full join, it's just going to return everything. So be wary of full joins, especially with big data. It takes a lot of computational resources. You do not want to do full joins unless there is a special, 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 special use case for that. So we are going to compare all of the three main joins side by side, your inner join, your left join, and your right join. So for insight number seven, the store owner wants a report of author ID, book ID, and sales only for authors who have sold a book. So they only want matching records for where authors have actually sold a book. If there is a book that or an author that has not sold anything, they do not want that record. So let's hop into SAS Studio. And for those who are looking at this video for the first time, keep in mind that I ran a lib name statement, which is just an empty folder that I uploaded. And I put the path to that folder by right clicking on that folder and doing properties. So I can right click on this folder, scroll down to properties, and I have that location. So that's gonna be different for you. And like I said, in the first video, we created some tables. So I created the authors table, the books table and the sales table. And you can look at these three tables when you're doing joins to automatically see what each table have in common. For this lecture, we're gonna be using the books and sales table. And you see what they have in common is this book ID. Sometimes one may have ID, the other one may have book ID. So be mindful of what the column is called. You also can look at the entity relationship diagram that you may have at your organization that just shows all the relationships between all of the tables in your database. And in this case, I've added some new lines. So for those who have been following since part one, here are some new lines where I added a new author to the authors table, 1005. And I also added that same author to the books table. 
And then I added a new book ID that has no matching author. So notice that my book ID ends with 5151 in the books table, but it's starting 6161. So there is no 5151 in the sales table. That's going to be mindful. Okay, so we are going to want to scroll down to joins and we want to return matching records. So I'm going to select the author ID per the request, the book ID, in the sales column. Now, both the books and the sales table have the book ID column. I am telling this to return the book ID that's in the books table by putting books in front of it. Then I'm going to do from the database dot table, which is book, enter join. So give me matching records for the sales table. And then this on clause tells me what I want to join on. What is the variable that matches between these two tables? And that is the book ID in the books table and the book ID in the sales table. So I'm going to run this and let's look at the output. And this is what I get, the author ID, the book ID and sales. So Notice that my book ID went all the way up to 414141. Let's go back and look at our original database. In my sales table, notice that it did not return this last row because this last row is not in the books table. So it only wanted to return matching records between these two tables, okay? All right, so let's hop back to our deck and look at inside eight so we can compare the left join. So in this case, we want a report of author ID, book ID and sales for all authors, regardless if they have sold a book or not, okay? So in this case, I want book sales for all authors regardless if they sold a book or not so i want all of the authors in the corresponding book ids that can be found in the books table so let's go back and look at our books table i have the author id as the first column and the book id as the second column notice that i have all of these authors but I don't have sale information for book ID 515151. There is no sale information down here in this table. So I still want to return this author ID even though it has no sales because that is the question. Return all the authors regardless if they have information in the sales table or not. So in this case, I'm going to do a left join to return everything from the books table. What I call after the from statement is on the left and the table that I call after the join statement is considered the right table. So once again, we're returning author ID, the books dot book ID, sales from books, left join on sales. So let's look at this. And in this case, I return this author even though there is not a matching record in the sales table. Notice that there is a dot there saying that it's missing. So this answers the question to return all authors that I have in my database, regardless if they have any sale information. And this could be a flag. Maybe for some reason, this record got deleted out of the sales table. Maybe for some reason, none of my customers bought this author. So this could be good information for me. Okay, and let's compare our last main join together. Like I said, this is not all the joins. You have self joins, cross joins, and you can feel free to look up that documentation for that. But in this case, I want a report of the author ID, book ID and sales for all books, regardless if they have a record in the book table or not. So pretty much I want to return all sales information all sales information regardless if they exist in my books or not so let's scroll back up and look notice that i don't have book id 5151 in my sales table and i also have book id 6161 which is not in my books table but i want to return all of my sale information regardless if they have a matching record in my books table or not so let's write this as a right join. So select author ID. Once again, we're selecting the book ID and I'm telling it to keep the 
book ID from the book table, sales information from books, right? Join sales, and we're still joining on the same common variable. So when we run this, let's look at the output. Correlation name book. Let's see, unresolved reference to table, correlation name book. Oh, we took out, I have to put books right there because that is the name of the table. Look at us troubleshooting in real time. And so notice that it returned the sale ID, but why is the book ID blank? Because I'm returning book IDs from the book table. And this book ID only exists in sales table. Let's go back up. The book ID for this 816161 only exists in the sales table. There is no information up here in books. So it came back blank. So in this case, I might want to keep the book ID from the sales table. So I'm just going to put sales in front of that. That lets SAS know which table to pull that column from. So now I'm going to run this. And ah, I get that. And of course, since it doesn't exist in the books table, it's not gonna have an author associated with it. So that may be interesting to me. Once again, is my author table set up correctly where now I'm selling a book that has no author um, record for me to look at. So all of that is good information. But keep in mind that all right joins can be coded as left joins. And so really, you only have to remember left join. So you don't have to be like, okay, what's on the right? So how can I change this so it's now a left join? I could just change the order of my tables. So I'm going to say test SQL dot sales because I want to return everything from the sales table. And then I'm going to join that on dot books. And now when I switch that, and I'm going to put left join here so that you can see I get the same output. So you can code all right joints as left joints. And since most people read from left to right, I recommend using left joints when at all possible. Once again, this is how you join things. You can still add more clauses here. So say for instance, I want a filter. So I can put where, let's say sales um, is greater than 60, okay? And so I can still add more clauses here. And now I see that my table is shorter because now my sales column was filtered to only books who have sales greater than 60. So we can still use the same clauses that we learned in part two after our joins in order to return what we need. Okay. So that is, once again, I have a slide here. All right joins can be written as left joins. Don't forget that. But that is the basics of SQL joins using prop SQL and SAS. And joins are very similar in SAS as it is to any other SQL language. You will see the keywords, inner join, left join, right join, things of that nature. You will see the on clause to tell it what variable to join on. So all of that is pretty uniform. So please comment, like, and subscribe. And thank you so, so, so much for tuning in with Learning with Shelly. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.